Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome on back to Survivorholic Crafting, the channel where we play all games survival crafting and welcome back to some more Dinkum. Oh my goodness. So we have someone new in town today. We do also have a mail. I was able to trap and send off a magpie yesterday. So I'm kind of curious to see how much money we got for that because it was kind of tricky to trap. So let's have a look what did we get for that oh wow okay so it did take a bit of wrangling to get that guy in the trap he didn't want to land where I needed him to land but we only got 4,000 dinks for it dang all right so our extra effort probably really wasn't even worthwhile so give us our trap back okay so magpies okay no need to catch them we made the most amount of money from echidnas so far now we do also have some milestone points thank you i will grab them I did also notice that in order to be able to make the better hatchet, we need to be able to have um, iron bar. Now, I haven't found any iron yet. I've got a little bit from the shiny rocks, but uh, it won't let me smelt it in here. So I'm kind of curious if maybe we need to buy that better furnace in order to be able to smelt it. I'm not terribly sure, but I have a feeling that's probably what's going on. I did do a spot of late night fishing last night as well. And we do have a few little fish here that we're going to try and sell today and see how much money we get from that. But um, yeah, I feel like we're going to go check out, see who is new in town first. I haven't cleared much more of an area for the museum yet. I kind of ran out of time last night when I was doing it. So we do need to go ahead and do some more there too. But curious to see who is in town, who is new, and who is in town. Uh, okay, it looks like an animal person. Oh, hello, it's Erwin. <laughs> As in like Steve Erwin. Nice, nice to meet you. G'day, mate. The name's Erwin. You're, don't tell me, you're Holly, right? Absolutely wonderful to meet you, mate. I'm Erwin. Oh, I already told you that, right? I'm visiting you, Little Ripper, trying to find a home for some beautiful little creatures. If you have a handling license, come back and talk to me. There's nothing more bonza than looking after beautiful little creatures. I hope you can help me out, Holly. Well, we can. We do have a handling license license already so we got a baby chook <laughs> uh we got some baby animal food and we got an animal feeder i wonder how expensive this stuff is animal feeder is okay that's not too bad let's buy that that wasn't too expensive how much is the chook food uh it's 100 bucks all right so let's go ahead let's buy let's buy 10 of them yeah and then how much is the little chook gonna cost me I don't normally call them chooks. I call them chickens. Unless it's like cooked. <laughs> and then it's a cooked chook if you're going to eat it. But this is a, a baby chicken. She's cute, right? If you've got a good home for her, she's all yours. 5,000. All right. I'll give her a home. Oh, great. Now, I think we should give her a name. Uh, this one is actually... This one's actually going to go out to someone in the community. Uh, I feel like you know who you are. If you know, you know. <laughs> so let's go. This guy is going to be called... Oh, can I not do capitals? So we're going to go Little Mon. That is the name of our first little chicky babe on the farm. Heck yeah, 5,000. This is so great. I've popped little Mon in this animal box. Please take her to her new home and release her. I'm going to miss her. Oh, I'll look, I'll look after her. We'll look after little Mon. Now, let's see, Erwin. Let's see. Let's have a chat. What did you want to chat about? You got a job for me? Would it be too much trouble for you to catch a Baraku Grunter? You can usually catch them in the billabongs this time of year. No problems at all. Thank you so much. I actually think I have one in my inventory already. Barracu Grunter. I do. It's one of the fishes I catch as I caught last night. Oh, my goodness. My English is great today. Uh, I want to chat. 
Here you go. Have your fish. Yeah, I sure did. Thanks, Holly. There you go, buddy. Wackadoo. Holly pulls through again. Thanks again, Holly. I want you to take this as a reward. Ooh, we got a crafting recipe. Rock edge path. Heck yeah. All right. So am I going to have to carry her above my head? I am. Dang. Can I drop this without releasing her? All right, cool. We're going to have to go home and we're going to have to make her um, a little house because we don't have anything yet. So let's just... Let's just leave her there for a second. Get the bananas. I'm going to quickly go up and see if John has anything awesome in his shop for sale that we need. Uh, we've got a wheelbarrow. All right. I don't think we need anything else. Did you have a job for me, though, John? Seeing as we're, we're doing jobs, what did you want to chat about? Would it be too much trouble for you to catch a fly? No problems. We can do that. We can catch you a fly, John. I can do that. I got my bug net with me. I can do that. My little little mon still chilling over there. Excellent. All right, let's see. Got to go find a fly. Oh, there's a kangaroo. Heck yeah. Let's see if we can get this trap out for it. They aren't worth as much money as the echidnas, but they're still worth a bit of money. So now we just got to try and coax it over that direction. There was a shark in that water yesterday too, so we really don't want him down in there. Oh, buddy, come back. Go the other way. <laughs> Go the other direction and get in my trap. No, 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 no. Go the other direction. Yep. Go that way. Keep going. Go bounce straight into that trap. Go on, buddy. You're so close. Go. Ooh. No, 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 no. Go right. Go right. <laughs> Dang, this is tricky. The echidna was easy because you can just make him mad. But I think if I stab a kangaroo, I think it's just going to take off. Ooh, so close. Go back, go back. No, 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 no. Don't go in the water. Come on, buddy. Get in the trap. Oh, come on, man. We need those dinks. <laughs> we need all the dinky dollars so we can keep building our town amazing and awesome and things. Go get, get, get. Oh, go, 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 go. Heck yeah. Nailed it. Heck yeah. So I think we got like $6,000 for our last one. So happy days. Easy dinks in the bank. All right. Come on, little mon. We got to go home. We need to make you an awesome, amazing little house. I should also see Fletch while we're out and about too. Yeah. So little mon, you're just going to have to chill there for a sec. Let's see. Talk to Fletch. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, let's just chat. What did you want to chat about? You got a job for me? She wants something to eat. I can do that. All right. So Fletch likes veggies. So we can just give her some of our cooked bananas, I hope. Uh, let's chat. Here you go. You got something to eat? Sure do. Uh, so she likes veggies. And John likes meat. <laughs> You're always helping me out. Here's a reward. Please take it. What's she giving us? Oh, she's giving us some dinks. Heck yeah. I won't say no to that. And we are also in a lot of debt. So I feel like we should put some money in here. So let's go ahead. Let's drop off 20,000 dinks. That's because of the museum that we haven't even built yet. But that's all right. We've got, we've got more, more important things at, at hand. We have to go build little Morn her own little house and things, yeah? So we're going to need a chicken coop. We're going to need a nice little fenced-in area. I wonder if she'll eat my veggies. Um, I kind of feel like if I have her in my veggie garden, she's going to, like, fertilize it for me, yeah? <laughs> and if I keep a little food trough in here for her, she shouldn't eat my veggies. Maybe? Let's Let's give it a go. For science, can we can we keep our... Can I put more than one in there? No, only one at a time. All right. Can I keep my chooks and my veggies in the same area? Let's have a look-see. What did I need to make a chicken coop? I need copper bar, tuft, tin, gum planks, and nails. All right, I think I've got all of that. I'm fairly certain we've got all of that. Not in there, I don't. Let's see, in here... 
So we needed some planks. I can't remember which one it was. We needed some tin. We needed some toft. And we needed some nails. Yeah? What's that? Hardwood plank. Yeah. I feel like that should be good. Is that everything? What am I? Oh, copper bar. Um, maybe I've got that many copper bar. Let's see. I think it wanted four. I've got six. Heck yeah. All right, let's go ahead. Let's make her our own little house. Yeah. Nice. So let's go see. Can I place my little chicken coop in here somewhere, please? Maybe just in the corner over here? Oh, it's adorable. Let's go a little chicken coop there. And then I'm actually going to... I don't have a shovel with me. Oh, I forgot to sell my fish to John as well. I'm actually going to plant a little tree in there as well. Because we need some shade in there for little Mon. We don't want her, you know, being stuck out with all the veggies and not having any shade. So we might plant a gum tree in there. Yeah, I think that could be kind of kind of sweet. Little little gum tree next to her little house here. So let's go ahead, throw that down. And plant that guy. Excellent. All right, so we've got a little tree in here. We've got a little food. We've got a little house. Okay, please don't eat all my crops. There is a watermelon growing there, which is freaking awesome. All right, let's have a look. Let's release her. Oh my goodness, she's adorable. She went straight over to the food. All right, I need to put more food in here. Oh man, it dug up dirt where I dropped the box. Is that because I had uh, is that because I had my shovel in my hand? Maybe. Let's give her a pat. Oh man, she's adorable. Heck yeah. Okay, so she seems pretty happy. I guess it's just going to be a wait and see game if she eats our crops or not. She might. <laughs> but it's okay. I don't even mind because she's so flippin' cute. So we got a savvy shopper. Thank you. And we got animal handler. Thank you. Now, do I have... Oh, I still need to collect a fly for John. I nearly forgot. Do I have... Oh, I do have a little animal thing. Little Mon. Okay. So she's got shelter, she's eaten, and she's been petted. Oh, no, I don't want to sell her. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was going to give me money for her. Like, for keeping her. I don't want to sell her. Dang. We just got her. Can I give her another little pet? Yeah. Give her all the pets. <laughs> she's adorable. All right, we got our first little chickadee on the farm. Happy days. This is all probably going to change as well once we can build our own house. I'm probably rearrange the yards and everything, the crops and all that jazz. But you know what? For the time being, that will do. Now, what else do we need to do? We need to go catch a fly for John. I feel like all the flies are over in this red dirt area over here near the gum trees and things. Ooh, I just heard one. Don't eat him, Mr. Frill Lizard. That's my fly. There's a couple of flies here. Dang, I thought the frilly was going to... Uh! <laughs> I thought the frilly was going to eat the fly right as we were trying to catch him. So let's let's get away from him. I think he will get mad if I whack him with my bug net. There's another butterfly up here as well. So I'm just catching all the bugs seeing as we're out here anyhow. I'll go sell them back to John. All right. John, old buddy, old pal, I have a fly for you. We should probably see if there's anything on our um, request board as well. Talk to John. Uh, I want to chat. This is for you. So you found a fly. I sure did. Uh, here you go, buddy. Give you a fly. You beauty. You always pull through for me, Holly. Why don't I give you this in exchange for helping me out? You received a rattan couch. Well, you know what, John? I'm probably going to put that out in your backyard. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead. Let's uh, sell some stuff to you. Let's sell you the fishes and the butterflies. Yeah, I think that'll do. There you go, John. Let's see. I'm going to give you $8,117. That sounds amazing. Thank you, John. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Now, um, this furnace is 30... 30,800. Dang. All right. So we need another, we need like another 10,000, um, 10,000 dinks in order to be able to get that one. 
So while we're right here, I might actually have a look at this little couch that John gave us and see if it looks good to go out the back here with his other little couch that he's got. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, rotate it. Maybe. Hang on. I got to get into the right spot. Maybe we'll put it here. Near the little fire. Feel like it's super close. <laughs> uh, so I guess like there. Yeah. And then maybe we'll move this one. Move this one a little bit closer to the other one. Can I pick it up? Thank you. And we're going to place that one next to the other one. Am I in the way of it? Huh, maybe I'm in the way. Hang on. Rearrange. Ooh, Nelly just stood on the fire. <laughs> there we go. So he's got a cute little sitting area out here. The plants are starting to grow. I think it's going to look cute. Super cute. All right. Um, bulletin board is what I wanted to have a look at. Let's have a look-see here. A shipping request from Fletch. Collect 20 apples and bring them to Fletch. I need a shipment of apples back home. If anyone can help me fill this shipment, please come and see me with the goods. Man, I haven't actually even... I haven't actually even seen any apple trees. I mean, the map is huge. Don't get me wrong, the map is huge. I haven't explored that much. Oh, we've still got to go over here and fix the um, tower, wherever it was. Over there somewhere. So I wonder where the apple trees might grow... Pine forest. Do we have any pine forest near us? No, we don't. All right, so maybe that's a job for tomorrow when it goes daylight. Maybe we'll head out to the pine forest and see if we can find um, some apple trees. Oh, it's raining today, so we don't need to water our crops. Doesn't look like little mom's eaten them yet, which is awesome. Let's give her a quick little patch. She's got some food over here, and it's saying we can harvest our watermelons. Heck yeah. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, was it just the one? Okay, it looks like just the one watermelon was ready. Ooh. Yeah, looks like just the one watermelon today. That's all right. Any of our peas ready? No, peas aren't ready. But little Mon seems pretty happy in here. She's super cute. Give her another little pat. Um, we don't have any hearts on her yet, though. So I'm not really too sure. Maybe just... Oh, she's got a quarter of a heart. Okay. So just got to make sure that we pet her and she's sheltered. And she does have food over here. She's just got to come over and have something to eat. Come over here, little Mon. <laughs> come have something to eat. She's super cute. All right, so, oh, we got a mail. That's right, we dropped off another kangaroo, didn't we? Let's see. Give me all the money for the kangaroo. Thank you. Give me my trap back. Excellent stuff. I didn't have anything else in here. No, I did not. All right, so, we need to see if maybe we can buy that better grinder before we can upgrade our hatchet. But today, we were actually going to try... And head over to this area over here. Into the pine forest. Because we need to find some apples. And I haven't seen an apple tree yet. So I'm assuming that's where it is. So maybe we'll see if anyone needs us to do anything. And then we'll head out and see if we can find some apple trees. Uh, good morning, Fletch. Did you need me to do anything for you today? Let's have a chat see. Have you got a job? Uh, a spot flathead. You can usually catch them in the northern oceans. All right, we'll give it a go. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. We are still in quite a lot of debt, but that's fine. We're just gonna, we're just gonna ignore the town debt for the moment. Double check if John has anything that he would like us to, to do today for him as well. And, oh, I did find this beehive. I found this beehive yesterday. And um, he was closed, so I couldn't drop it off. So now he is open. Let's go ahead. Let's drop this guy off. Got a nice beehive there. It weighs 1.41 kilos. 11,000 sound good? Sure does. 
You're welcome, John. Did you have anything new in here that I need? Uh, customization kit. No. That grinder, though. Or that furnace, even. Uh, you know what? I'm going to buy it. Yeah, we're going to spend all our money on, uh, on a furnace. And it can also produce iron ore. That's what I sort of thought. I'll take it, John. Super expensive, but we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. And while we're at it, is there anything that you need? Do you need anything? Uh, let's have a chatsy. Got a job. I actually have a yellow shirt. I don't want any more. Sure, why not? We'll buy you a yellow shirt. Do you want to buy it? I'll give it to you for $1,113. It's a deal. Heck yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we come across someone that wants to, um, that wants clothing. That we can give clothing to. That would be amazing. Hey, wait, what? Read the sign? John's good. Oh, it actually tells you on the sign when he is open. I did not even know that was there. Alpha Bush Devil. Alpha Bush Devil has been spotted at this location. This is a very dangerous alpha animal and should only be taken on by an experienced hunter. Hunt down the Alpha Bush Devil using its last known location. We get 33,000 gold for it. Oh my goodness. I only have a super basic spear. We haven't really killed much yet. Uh, you've got three days on it though. So I guess maybe we'll, we'll when we're running around today... We'll see if we can, like, kill a few things. Oh, I've got a few things to sell to John, too, before we run away. See if we can maybe level up our hunting a little bit. Because I feel like uh, we're not going to be able to do it at this level. We could probably go ahead and sell selling the shirt as well. But I'll hang on to it. I'm also curious. Sounds good. How much for one watermelon? What are watermelons worth? I'm just going to sell you one so I can see how much you give us for them. One watermelon is worth... Oh my goodness! One watermelon is 3,000 dinks? Holy crap! Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Alright, well, okay. I know we definitely got to get more watermelons um, happening then when we see rain again. Let's see. We are heading out today. So, we are going over this direction. And I'm a little bit nervous now. They're saying about, um, like, devils. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried now they're saying about Tassie devils because I haven't come across a Tassie devil yet. So they might actually be over in the pine forest as well. So we should probably have our spear equipped just in case we come across anything that's going to chew our face off because I haven't actually found anything aggressive yet. Except for the cassowaries. But they're more of a pain. They just sort of chase you. I've managed to outrun them all so far. Oh, and you can actually kill these little frogs too. They give you like um, some skin. Toad skin. And it says that it's poisonous. A kind of poison. So, interested to see what we do with that later on in the game. Am I still heading in the right direction? Sort of. Oh, hello there. Look at that pretty red flower. Okay, that's one that we haven't seen yet. Can I pick that? Harvest it. It is bottle brush. Nice. Okay, so we got some bottle brush. Let's go ahead and kill this frog. <laughs> Get this skin off it. I should have my bug net out as well. Because I do see there are actually some bugs here. And seeing as we haven't been in this area before... They might be new ones. Oh, that's a fly. No, I don't want a fly. Oh, there's a little tin thing here, though. We'll grab this. Thank you. Is this a new butterfly? Blue moon. No, dang it. Okay, same butterfly. Oh, there's an apple tree. Heck yeah. All right, we got four apples. Nice. So this is definitely where we find them. In the pine forest is where we find the apples. So we need 20 of those. I wonder how hard the emus are to kill. Kind of feels bad, but we need to level up our hunting. I'm sorry, Mr. Emu. Oh, he didn't like that, but he didn't actually aggro. Interesting. So I can just keep poking him in the butt. Hey, can I trap him? 
Uh, did I not? Oh, man. I might not have grabbed my trap out of the mail. That is really interesting. If you were to come across an emu in the wild, he would literally kick the hell out of you. <laughs> you would not even be able to get that close to him. So, interesting that they don't attack. Maybe it's because the cassowaries attack. They thought, we can't have both of the birds being killers. Maybe. But I guess it's a, probably not a bad way to level up our hunting. As bad as it sounds. So I'm curious as well. So these are pine trees. I wonder if they give pine tree seeds and like pine tree wood as well. Oh, we get pine cones. Nice. And yes, we have uh, a hardwood log. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness. All right, so I can see a Tazzy devil. There's one just chilling over there next to those rocks. He's asleep. Um, I mean, I said I wanted to get my, uh, my, uh, my hunting up, <laughs> but I don't know if I'm ready to go up against the Tazzy Devil just yet. Um, you know what? The heck with it. Let's give it a go. Let's see if we are strong enough to go up against this Tazzy Devil. I'm going to grab these Quandongs <laughs> because they're right here and I can't help but loot some free fruit. So we got to grab the... Grab the Kwandongs first. Get our priorities in order. Make sure we got plenty of food. Alright. Let's see. We got some bananas. We got some Kwandongs. We got some apples there. I really don't want to eat if we don't have to. Because we need to collect 20 of them. Okay. Wish me luck. Um, hopefully this is not the alpha. Because we know there is an alpha out here somewhere. Hopefully this is not an alpha. It's just a normal tazzy devil. Yeah? Fingers crossed. All right, give it a poke in the butt. Woo! It's mad. Ooh, okay. Oh my goodness. What the heck was that? How do you shoot fireballs? You're a damn tazzy devil. What the hell? <laughs> I can guarantee you they don't actually do that in the wild. They don't actually shoot fireballs at you. I still wouldn't... Ugh! Jeez, ouch. I wouldn't recommend that you um, pat them, but they definitely... Don't shoot fireballs at you. Heck yeah, we nearly got him. He's running. Heck yeah, what did we get for that? We got some meats. Aw, oh, that's it. Aw, oh, feels bad, man. Killed the poor Tazzy Devil and all we got was some meat. I thought we were going to get some, like, cool loot. All the coo cool loot and things. How many apples have I got? I got 18. All right, so we've almost got enough apples to do that request. But I want to get a couple as well so we can plant them around our little farm because you know free food and stuff so I guess I'm just gonna hunt around in this area a little bit longer see if I can find some more apples so we've got 30 apples I think that should do us for a little while I'm going to see if we can head to the northern ocean now and I think that's what John said uh, tasks a blue spotted flathead Oh, was it to Fletch? Maybe that wanted it? Yeah, oh, that's right. John sold us a, um, he sold us a t-shirt, didn't he? So we need to get a blue sp spotted flathead for Fletch. So I'm fairly certain she said you can find them in the north. So we're going to go for a, a walk up this direction. And see if we can catch a spotted flathead. Oh, there's fishes in this tiny little pond here. Do I have my fishing rod? I sure do. Okay. Let's see if we can catch these little guys and, and see what they are. Let's have a look-see. We're north-ish. I don't know. I'm fairly certain she said in the ocean, though. I'm guessing this pond, though, being salt water. Could be classed as ocean, maybe. Come on, little buddy. Come here. Hopefully it's what we need and then we can head straight back. We've got our apples. We've got our fish. That would be amazing. Let's see. Oh, so close. Oh, my goodness. Don't get off. <laughs> so terribly close. Let's get it in. Heck, yeah. What is it? Oh, nice. It is. It's a blue spot flathead. Awesome. I wonder what the other fish is in there. It doesn't look the same. 
I wonder if I can catch that one too. Let's see. Heck yeah, we got an eye striped surgeon fish. He's kind of cute looking. Now there is like a cockroach or something running along the edge of this pond over here I just seen as well. Where did it go? There was like a little bug cruising along the edge of the uh, pond. Did it go in the water? Huh. I don't actually know where it went. Maybe the frog ate it? Ah, oh, well. Anyhow, we can head home now. We've done those two requests. Awesome stuff. Now I just got to remember where home actually is. Man, all the way back over there. All right, let's 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 go in this direction. Let's head home. Hey, Fletch. I have your fish. Afternoon, Holly. This is for you. Did you find a blue spot flathead? I sure did. Thank you so much. There you go. Thank you very much, Holly. I tell you what, you're always helping me out. Here's a reward. Please take it. What are we getting? We got a yellow plaid dress. Oh my goodness. All the clothes. Let's see. Let's switch our um, green one out for a yellow one. Let's see what that looks like. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Amazing. Now we could also go ahead and finish that quest on our mission board also. So quickly back up to here. Hi, hello, John. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do the shipping request. We got 20 apples. Bring the apples to Fletch. Accept request. Can I take them to Fletch? Oh, I wonder if I can take them to Fletch now. I thought I had to bring them over to the bulletin board. I didn't accept the quest before, just in case we weren't able to find apples, seeing as how we hadn't seen them yet. Now, hello, Fletch. Do you want some apples? Uh, I completed your request. Wow, you really got this shipment ready for me? I sure did. Here are your apples. Thanks a lot, Holly. You've really saved me. I didn't think I would get that shipment filled. Here's your $8,522. Thank ya. Awesome stuff. Request complete. Nice. Oh, and we did get a journal point for that. Uh, for the fish catcher. Nice. Excellent stuff. So I feel like we are progressing really well, but uh, I think it's about that time, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining me again, and I hope to see you all again soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.